Hi everybody! I hope you're having a good vacation at home with your family. We miss you at the library and it's Wednesday, which is the day when you would come in and spend time with me at our Discover Story Time. But since we can't go to the library today, I thought I could come to you. And I thought I could spend some time reading you one of my favorite books in the spring called It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. This is a hilarious story about a springtime animal, everybody's favorite bunny. So I thought we could read it together. Are you ready? Okay, let's sit down together and read the story. It's Not Easy Being a Bunny by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Bolin. Yay! <laughs> okay, It's Not Easy. Hang on. So excited. Okay. It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny was very, very sad. He did not like being a bunny. <laughs> His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. Yuck! Ugh. And he had far too many brothers and sisters. Oh! oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Mom brought a new one home every night. All right. And his ears were very, very big. I mean, what do you do with big ears? One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to go live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not fall asleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds, yay! PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. And PJ went to go live with the beavers. But PJ, the beavers like to work very hard, but PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig. Yay! <laughs> And PJ went to go live with the pigs. But the only thing the pigs liked to do was to sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to go live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls. <laughs> so PJ So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a possum. And PJ went to go live with the possums. The possums like to hang upside down. But hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. And so PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. I want to be a skunk. And PJ went to go live with the skunks. But it did not take PJ very long to figure out that he did not like living with the skunks. And so PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a possum or most of all, a skunk. What I really, really, really want to be is a bunny. And so PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him. And PJ was very happy to see them. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots. Yum, 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 yum,
and he played with every one of his brothers and sisters all night long, even when they cheated at cards. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I am a bunny, PJ said, and not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. The end. I hope you liked our story today about PJ Funny Bunny. I sure did. And I really look forward to seeing each and every one of you again when the library resumes our Discover Time in hopefully just a few short weeks. We'll try to do more videos for you, so stay tuned. And we're going to have a video up very soon about how to make a craft to go along with our PJ Funny Bunny book. So look for that too. We look forward to seeing you guys all again soon. Check out our online stuff to keep you busy reading. And we will see you when we're back in business. Thank you. Bye-bye.